Welcome to Uflex USA, located in Sarasota, Florida. Today, we're installing a Uflex hydraulic steering system. This application is on a center console with a single outboard. We're installing a single cylinder system. This installation procedure is mainly valid for any outboard installation. Small details may change depending on the engine make and model. For additional information, please reference the Uflex installation manual. This installation has a moderate difficulty level and will take 30 minutes to an hour on average. First, we will be unboxing the hydraulic cylinder. The Uflex cylinder kit comes with the following. Cylinder, tilt tube broad kit, bull horns, spacer kit, and tiller bolt packet. Next, we will connect the link arm to the engine. In some applications, the link arm will go on top of the engine tiller arm and other applications require it to go under the engine tiller arm. Always connect the link arm to the hole closer to the engine. Now, we can position the U-Flex Superbolt into the link arm and then carefully thread it through the engine tiller arm. Tighten the Superbolt, then install the safety nut and tighten to torque. The cylinder is now connected to the tiller arm of the engine. You can swivel the cylinder out and install the two bull horns at each end of the rod. Place lock washers first and then the bolts. Do not fully torque the bolts so that you can swivel the bull horns to align them. Some cylinders might have bull horns already installed. At this point, we will center the cylinder. To ensure the same amount of steering travels to port and starboard, it is important to first center the cylinder. We need to have an equal amount of rod on both sides. Now that the cylinders are centered at mid-stroke, it is time to center the engine. We do this by moving the tiller at the center of the engine bracket. If necessary, take a measurement from the side of the engine bracket. Before proceeding to the next step, we will install the first collar on the threaded part of the tilt tube, which is usually on the starboard side. Make sure to first assemble the bolt and lock nut on the collar. Now that the motor and the cylinder are centered, we can determine how many spacers we need on both sides by measuring the distance between the bullhorn and the tilt tube. It is important to remember that you may not use an equal amount of spacers on each side. When installing the tilt tube rod, it is important to apply marine type grease. Insert the first half of the rod. Connect the second half of the rod to the first half with the key and push the rod inside the tilt tube. Make sure the key is still in place once the tilt rod is fully inserted. At this point, the correct spacers are installed and the bull horns are in place. Now, we can proceed with tightening the bolts and lock nuts of the bull horns. Make sure to bend the tabs on each safety washer. Now that we have our tilt tube rod installed and spaced correctly, we can finish the installation by manually unscrewing the tilt tube collar to eliminate the residual side clearance. Remember to tighten the bolt on the collar to lock it in place. Now you are ready to install your hoses. Make sure the port line, which is red, goes to the starboard fitting and the starboard line, which is green, goes to the port fitting. You can change the orientation of the fittings by releasing the lock nut and tightening it once the desired orientation is achieved. In this phase, it is very important to make sure the hydraulic lines do not get kinked when the engine is steering, tilting, or both. Double check the lines are tightened to the fittings. Now that our cylinder is installed, we have to fill and purge the system. Please check out our filling and purging video for instructions on how to do this. If your helm is not already installed, please watch our helm installation video. For additional information, please reference the Uflex installation manual or check out our website. 